Hello and welcome to NBA Talk with Jordan Valdez. First things first, let's get to today's matchups. And our first matchup is Kevin Durant versus Dirk Nowitzki. Kevin Durant, starting small forward for the Oklahoma City Thunder, two-time NBA All-Star, one-time NBA All-Star starter, two-time NBA scoring leader, um, um, made the All-NBA first team for two straight uh, years, very, very good um, player for the Oklahoma City Thunder, um, best scorer in the league, if not the best player in the league, and that's why I chose this matchup. Because these, uh, Derrick Rose is considered one too, but these two players are typically considered right now, ever since the NBA Finals were over, these two players have been considered the two best uh, players in the NBA. So, um, Dirk Nowitzki, a uh, very, very good uh, shooter, outside shooter, uh, got that turnaround jumper, um, fadeaway, um, uh, power forward for the Dallas Mavericks. He's also been pretty much a perennial all-star, um, won his first ring this year, but Kevin Durant can score so well that that's why I chose this matchup. It's so interesting. Um, I'm going to leave this matchup to Kevin Durant, though. I think that he's just such a good um, all-around player. He can rebound. He can shoot from outside. He can post up. He can hit his free throws, one of the best free throw shooters in the NBA. Um, he, he, he just does every. He can pass it. Um, he, oh, I remember one time this season he had an alley oop to Russell Westbrook. So he can just do everything, which is why I'm going to give that matchup to Kevin Durant. Dirk Nowitzki, yes, his team uh, proved that they were the best team in the NBA this year. Um, however, um, they're just. Um, I, I don't think Dirk is the best individual player. Uh, right now. One of the best, obviously, along with Kevin Durant and Derrick Rose, um, but not the best. Uh, our next matchup is Eric Gordon versus Jamal Crawford. Eric Gordon, starting shooting guard for the Los Angeles Clippers. Um, he uh, probably will be one of the best uh, shooter shooting guards um, in the NBA in a couple years. He, he suffer, he's uh, tended to be injury prone. Uh, he, it's only his fourth season in the NBA, I think. And uh, he's been injury prone, but um, he's still a very, very good player. Um, I think uh, that he, uh, uh, Jamal Crawford, an NBA veteran, uh, six man for the Atlanta Hawks, shooting our point guard, very good three point shooter, leads the league in all time four point plays. Um, he can, he's uh, a very, very good player for the Atlanta Hawks, comes up big in the clutch, uh, has a nice shake and bake move. I'm going to give this matchup to Jamal Crawford. The only reason for that is because he wasn't injured this season. Had Eric Gordon not been injured this season, I think that he might be uh, one of the top five, five to five to seven or eight uh, shooting guards in the league. Uh, now let's talk NBA headlines. First, the NBA, la NBA labor meetings are scheduled for today and tomorrow, and we can just we can only hope that the sides come to an agreement. Um, and also, uh, the plot for Oklahoma City Thunder's Kevin Durant's movie called Switch has been revealed on IMDb.com. Thank you for watching NBA Talk with Jordan Valdez, and I'll see you next time.